have your money, Jubal. I followed you too far not to. And you'll have to kill me first. Then I'll kill what I started. Dead. Your arms cut. You were to have it took care of. Tomorrow will be time enough. By noon tomorrow, we'll be at Big Valley. And Oak Meadows. Yes, sir. Oak meadows. On the edge of the Barkley land. Just waiting for us. Like I told you it would be. we hope to accomplish this day, I've had my assistants prepare a complete and documented presentation for your examination and evaluation. Now, this first document contains the total amount of the Valley's production for the last two years. Rather an impressive undertaking. Thank you. Now, these are the latest census figures, which break down to show the total amount of the Valley's contribution to the state's consumption of food, timber, leather goods. Mr. Chairman, May I ask that you direct Mr. Barkley to get to his point? He's trying to do just that, but you keep interrupting. You're out of order, young man. Mr. Chairman, unfortunately, my brother is unfamiliar. Go on with the issue, Mr. Barkley. Now, these are the projected figures of the Valley's potential production, if a dam were to be constructed in the area that we have suggested. A dam, gentlemen could mean the influx of new businesses that would affect the entire economy of this West Coast. Gentlemen, the potential that lies there in that valley is limitless. It would seem young Mr. Barkley has inherited some of his father's political ambitions. I was not aware that the state's general well-being was a political issue. Or could it be that it's the finance committeeman's instructions to make it one? It is political to this point, Mr. Chairman. My party made a promise to the people at the last election, a promise to watch very closely state expenditures. We intend to keep that promise. The majority party's desire to honor a campaign commitment is most commendable. However, if I can point out a way that that promise can be kept and at the same time the dam can be constructed, would the chairman consider keeping this hearing open for a time longer? Twenty-six seconds. You're almost as good. What do you mean, almost? Nick would have beaten you by a good three seconds. Oh, you think so, huh? Yes, I do. Sure? Yeah, I'm sure. I'm sure. Oh, oh. Morning. Howdy. I can see I'm on Barkley range. 
You both have Tom Barkley's mark. Where's the All River Cypher at? My father's dead. Tom's dead? Six years ago. Who are you? Who'd you say you were? Ma, she ain't dead, too. She's at the house. My God, Tom's dead. I'm Chad. He's Jubal Tan of my gramps. And we come a long way. Yeah, where from? Camino, Calaveras, and a few other dozen gold camps thrown in between. Gramps got cut. His arm needs looking to. All this fuss over a little scratch. Jubal? Victoria. Wonderful to see you. Oh. The years have been good to you, as it was meant to be. Well, we thought about you so much. I'm sorry about Tom. He would love to have seen you. And this is? My son Richard's boy. Richard? Is he with you? No. He and Chad's ma died of the fever when Chad was a baby. Chad. I think Chad could do with some hot food. Am I right? Gramps? You're with the closest thing to a family you got, boy. You're hungry, say so. I'm hungry. Well, you get a bath first. Come on. You'll find some clothes for him in the trunk in the spare room. Mr. Tanner's arm needs to be bandaged. Oh, what happened? Uh, nothing. I got in a little scrape. Let me fix it. 30 years. <laughs> Where has it all gone to? Ah, some have been into this ranch. This house. Those two fine young ones are yours. There are two more. What about you? Chad's all. I never married again. Besides Margaret, there was only one other worth marrying. My best friend had done that. Why didn't you keep in touch? I did in a way. I heard of some of your doings. Tom's success here. Who would have thought? When the four of us came through here 30 odd years ago, who'd have thought that one day it would all be his? Tom did, remember? Yeah, he did that. And he said there would always be one particular piece of land for you. The piece of land he knew you would want. That's right. He put it in writing. Got it in these here letters. Why didn't you just come and take it? Uh, that's why I'm here now. Oh, not to take it. I mean to buy it. Oh, Jubal, that land is yours. No. Everything I got, I earned. I wouldn't be happy with it otherwise. I wrote to Tom, and I asked him to set a fair price. At first, he wouldn't. But finally, he agreed on, a, on an honest sum. There's the price. Six thousand. I added a thousand to it, because I knew the land would be worth more. That's where my 30 years went. Jubal, please. No. This land's got to be bought and paid for. You paid for the land a long time ago. No. Now I pay for it. That's the way I want it. Now Oak Meadows is mine. Oak Meadows has always been yours. Oak Meadows! That's what Jared said. We would make Oak Meadows available for the dam site. Now, it's as good, if not better, than any place that's been suggested up till now. How did he swing it? By offering the land at 50 cents an acre a quarter of its value, and by showing them all they have to do is fill that narrow gorge at the south end of Oak Meadows, and we've got a dam! Yay! Hey, Nick, when are they gonna do it? Well, a special committee is going over coldest construction plans right now, and we should get the good word any day. <laughs> Anybody, any place feels better than I do right now. Except maybe me. No, 
Oh, no, no, there's no sense in that at all. Nick, please lower your voice. I've heard the people talk of a dam in this valley since I was a kid. It will just have to go somewhere else. It'll be Oak Meadows or not at all for a Oak long time. Oak Meadows belongs to Jubal Tanner, and I doubt very much if he will sell. We'll see to your Jubal Tanner. Nicholas, I forbid you. I don't want you or anyone else putting pressure on Jubal to sell. Oh, Mother, you won't get any pressure from me. I'll not do any of the pressing, I promise you that. But when the people in this valley hear that they've lost their dam, your friend Jubal Tanner will learn the real meaning of the word pressure. It's been a night lonely. I'm right sorry. Never figured it'd take me 30 years to... It's all there now. The richest boy with me. Fine young man. His ma's kin tried to take him when she and Richard passed. Slight chance. We're gonna build a cabin up yonder ways. But I'll come see you every day. It's a promise. you, Meg. After 30 years, I miss you as much as the day I put you in there. A hollowness came over me that I never did feel. I'm sorry it's grown over. Tom used to keep it up. Jubal, this is the first time since... Well, it's the first time I've been back to this part of Oak Meadows. All these years. Well, you'll come by more often now. I mean, we'll be dividing the visit between here and, and your place. But, Jubal... Exactly the news the whole valley is hoping to hear. It's thrown back in your teeth, and you stand there as calm as a mule chewing on summer grass. What would you like me to do? You have worked harder to get that dam put in than anybody else. That's true. And then get fired up. Show me something, anything. Just show me you're alive, will you? Aren't you fired up enough for both of us? She's like talking to a stone wall. And what do you propose? Busting through that stone wall? Oh, come on now, Jared. I've known you to ram your head once or twice. And sometimes it's better to go around. You just try going around the people in this valley when they hear they've lost their dam. Nick, 
Now, I'm sure when Mother and Mr. Tanner are presented with the facts in an unemotional way, the plans for the dam will go ahead. They won't if Oak Meadows is the only answer. How was your trip? The trip was quiet. Things changed a little when I got here. How about some sherry? Thank you. I meant what I just said. Well, now, I'm sure there's more than one answer if we look for it. Either kick him out or get him another piece of land. We'll do neither one. Jubal Tanner is a very old and a very dear friend. And you have some very old and very dear friends here, too, Mother. Now, Mother, I'm sure whatever reason you have, it's a good one. But you have to consider the fact that it'll be affecting hundreds of others. Your father promised you will let land long before any of you were born. And I'd be the first to do what father wanted. But wouldn't he have wanted the dam too? So do I. But we don't own the land. The deed hasn't been signed yet. Since when does a Barclay need his signature to make his word good? Some broken down old nobody drifts in here looking for something. Easy now. I drifted in here six months ago looking for something. That was different. Was it? I was looking for what I believed was mine. A place to set some roots down. And that old man, he's looking for the same thing. I just can't see how I can argue against it. Couldn't we at least offer him another section of land? Your father and I helped him bury his wife at Oak Meadows. What other section would you suggest? Right here, we'll have a big window. And we'll sit here, and we'll look the whole thing over. And over there, we'll have a fireplace big enough to burn a half a tree. Gosh, Gramps, sure sounds good. When are we going to build it? Oh, I figure sometime this week when we get enough lumber up here from town. A real house with more than one room. That's what we'll have. And glass in the windows? And wood on the floor. And doors that close instead of a hanging blanket. And ticking to sleep on instead of a lot of flea bitten old fur. Yeah. And plenty of water to bathe in. Yeah. And we'll have. set up here for quite a time. Well, for long enough. Well, this is a squatter country, old time. I'm afraid you're going to have to clear out. Now, well, hold on. I'm speaking for the owners. This is my land, bought and paid for. Well, I don't know who sold it to you, but I guarantee you've been taken. Well, I got no idea what that means, and I ain't sure I care. It means this whole area is going to be flooded soon. It means there's going to be a dam built up here. Gramps! Don't you fret, boy. Ownership. Mr. One of Us is in for a powerful surprise. Jared, I was just on my way over to see you and I noticed this campsite here. And... What's he been saying? Some nonsense about a dam. Don't worry about a thing. I ain't worried. Jared, what is this? That's my oldest son, Jared. Jared, do you know what this old man just told me? I know all about it, Len. And? He purchased Oak Meadows from my mother yesterday. Well, then you buy it back. Jared, it's official. The committee approved the plans. I've got the go-ahead to start construction. I'd appreciate being let in on what this talk of a dam means. Well, I'll tell you one thing, old-timer. It means trouble if this isn't straightened out. Now, that's no threat. It's just a statement of fact. You see, there are a lot of people with a stake in this. A lot of people who gave their nickels and dimes and dollars to pay for the lobbying done in Sacramento. Jared, you're the one who wanted all this. You're the one who's handled the whole thing so far. Now, what are you going to do? There'll be work for I don't know how many.
many in building it, then there'll be new farmland and more people to work that land. And it'll mean new trade for the store owners in Stockton and new businesses in the valley. It all adds up to a lot of people, Jubal, and a lot of opportunities I believe they have a right to. Jared, I'm 68. And the better part of my life on this earth, I worked for one thing. One thing, mind you. Long time ago, I took a frail, pretty little girl from a safe place, and I brought her out here. I promised her a home of her own. When she died, I promised her something else. I promised her the land she was buried in. Yesterday, I kept that promise. Now, that might mean nothing to some. All them years, a promise to a dead person. Fair enough. You was talking about rights. The rights of all them people. I figure each by themselves are only one. Just like I'm only one. And I got rights. And I own this land. And by gar, I'm going to keep it. Well, I guess that's about as simple as it can be put. He wouldn't budge. And there it's going to sit, and you're going to do nothing about it? No, I'm still going to try everything I know to get him to change his mind. Well, you better succeed, because this whole valley isn't going to lose out on account of one stubborn old man. You know that. Jared, that, uh, that stubborn old man was once a very young, very determined young man who was very much in love. Believe me, he is not going to change his mind. You could help me. No. No, I couldn't. Looks like the hen party broke up early. Still going on, for all I know. Oh? You should have heard what Flora Benson had to say about Oak Meadows. Flora Benson? The Benson Timber family. Her company would supply all the lumber if the dam were built. Flora, is she the one with the reddish hair, let alone the plump side? Yes. <laughs> She's been giving you a hard time. You should hear some of the things she said about Mother. Oh, hon, just consider the source. I did more than that. I told her off. As only you can. Heath. Are you as confused as I am? Whether to side with Mother and Tanner or Jared and Nick and the rest of the valley. There's a lot of good argument to both sides. Well, then you haven't decided either. I have. Then will you help me decide? My feelings are based on a lot of things that have only to do with me. Father, whatever you decide, it's not going to affect a trial. What trial? The trial of the whole Barkley family. The verdict will be in sometime later today. What does that mean? It means that Jared is planning to sign over the deed to Jubal Tanner later this afternoon. And I'm going to go on over there and try to talk some sense into him before it's too late. You want to come along? Yeah, I'd kind of like to see how the trial comes out. Huh? Little sister, I'm sorry I can't help you decide. But whichever road you choose to travel, don't you think you could get there on your own? Before I sign that deed, Jubal, I'd like to point something out to you. The Barclays have kind of led things in the valley ever since Father stood up against the railroad people. Now we find ourselves in the position of standing in the way of progress. They killed your daddy, those hired guns of the railroad. That's right. Because he stood 
for something that he believed was right. It didn't matter that he was standing against the railroads who was bringing in progress. Jubal, the railroads were trying to take over ranch lands that had been worked for years. Oak Meadows hasn't been worked for years, but it's been worked for for years. You should have been a lawyer, Jubal. Son, it's just that a big old oak tree don't look the same to a ground squirrel as it does to a hoot owl. That's a fine analogy. Which one am I? Nothing personal. The people will never stop trying to get you out. I don't reckon they will. The majority usually rules. That's too bad. Because being the majority don't make it right. Jared, don't do it. You can't turn against the people in this valley. I'm not turning against anyone. That's exactly what you're doing if you sign that deed. When I sign this deed, I'll be honoring an agreement made by Mother. Oh, now, don't throw it all up to Mother. Nick. Now, why don't you and Heath go buy yourself a beer? I don't want a beer. Here. He's been sitting in one place too long. No, now, listen to me. Buy him a sarsaparilla. Listen, Jared, I got just as much to say about this as anybody else. Nick, do you think this is easy for me? Do you think I like seeing all that work go for nothing? It's just that I'm trying to be a hoot owl and a ground squirrel at the same time. I guarantee you it's not easy. I guess that's supposed to mean something. All of a sudden, I've got a thirst. Well, I haven't. What do you say, boy, a big sarsaparilla? Yes, sir. If father were alive, I know what he'd say. And do. in a mining camp, he knows what a saloon looks like. I've logged more than a few growlers for the miners. Penny a bucket. Well, you know, I used to make money the same way when I was a kid. Yeah. Did you ever lick the foam off the top of a can? Just once. Graham smelled it in my breath. Never tasted it since. Did you ever sneak rides on the cars down into the deep mines? Didn't Angel's camp. How are you two cut up old times? I'm getting myself a beer. And a big sarsaparilla. And a big sarsaparilla. Two beers and a large sarsaparilla. You minding the kid while the old man gets Oak Meadows deeded over? I'm pulling your fangs, Dutton. For the first time in my life, I'm on your side. The rest of the Barclays don't seem to be. For sure, the old lady ain't. You shut your mouth, or I won't be either. Barkley, where will you be if somebody tries persuading the old man? Crowell, even you wouldn't go after an old man and a kid. I used to take a big old fish net. Put the dirty clothes in and throw it all on the stream. You know, a Paiute Indian taught me that. Nicky used to make money washing the miners' clothes, same as I did. Sounds like fun. It's fun talking about it. Wasn't much fun doing it. No, it sure wasn't. That water got mighty cold, didn't it? The worst time was when it rained. In the camp streets turned to mud, clean up to your knees. And it'd slide into the tents and get into the blankets and everything. Boy, oh boy, sure made sleeping it being uncomfortable. You lived all the time with your grandfather, boy. As long as I can remember. Uh, wasn't there any other uh, kin that you stayed with? Got an uncle in Denver. But I'd never leave Gramps. Tough things was at times. Oak medals always seemed a long ways off. Those times I thought I'd never see it. But Gramps said we would. I'm sure sorry for what it's costing everybody. But you can't say it's wrong I haven't it. You see some right to that, don't you, Mr. Buckley? How come he doesn't talk like other boys his age? He grew up fast in a mining camp, Nick. Uh -huh. Jubal, let me get you a chair. Thanks, son. You can still make a fair profit if you sell right now, old man. Appreciate your offer. It ain't no offer, it's a warning. That damn going in means work. No sourdough looking for a place for his bones to rot is going to take no jobs away from us. Is this a private finger-jabbing game, or can anybody play? The lines are drawing mighty fast. And you're pulling them pretty tight, Dutton. 
I'll take the opposite side of this suck egg any time. Right now. Get him! This way, I knew there'd be trouble. Missed all the fun, Sheriff. Mm -hmm. Clear out! Now, there are two sides of the story. There sure are. And I never thought I'd see a Barkley on the side which was against bringing mortar into this valley. Oh, now, where... Now, get! Or I'll have you all arrested for disturbing the peace. You can take them two with you. Come on, Jewel. Come on. father was troubled over something. He used to look for answers this way, too. I could use some answers. Why is it when we grow up, we hold back instead of coming right out and asking, like you did when you were a little boy? Whatever reasons you have for backing Jubal Tanner are your own. I have two reasons. Len Calder is going to press for a suit of eminent domain. I presumed he would. I'm not sure I'm going to oppose him. If you were sure, would you be down here now staring into the fire? You know what happened to Nick and Heath in town today? Yes, I know, but that isn't what's bothering you. No. No, the pettiness I can cope with. But I can't ignore the reason for it. Your friend Jubal has set himself up against the majority. But where there is one... There is a majority of one. And when the rights of the majority take away from the rights of the one, then the many will themselves suffer. The rope. Isn't that the intent of the law? The protection of the individual? Like Jubal Tanner. And your father. No one could take away from him what was his. Not even the railroad who killed him. There are some who say your father's principles killed him. Well, he was a man who would rather die for a principle than live without one. Thank you, lovely lady. I think maybe I can sleep now. I told you I had two reasons for backing Jubal. And I told you whatever reasons you had were your own. Yes, but I want you to know the other one now. A long time ago, when I first married your father, Jubal Tanner married my best friend, Margaret Putman. We came west through the valley together. There was a fire, a fire all around us. Your father was off hunting. Jubal, Margaret, and their son were riding in the wagon. I was riding horseback. When I was thrown, I cried out. Jubal stopped and ran back to help me. The team bolted and... 
Margaret was killed when the wagon overturned. We buried her in Oak Meadows. And I've never forgotten or forgiven myself because I should be the one buried there. Because of him, I wasn't. Because of him, you, Nick, Eugene, Audra. That's why, in spite of everything, she must keep Oak Meadows. One more time, one of his sly digs out of Florida. Oh, I don't mean Perkins. His kind you can expect us. Do you know who just cut me colder than a fish? Who? Lucy Collier. I was just dancing with her last week at Otto Miller's barn raising. A lot can happen in a week. Like I didn't know. Seems to me you're changing your mind about all this. Huh? Snubs and sly cracks and nothing compared to what it's going to be before long. Out of blazes with them. Slapping in my stomach. You know how you feel? Like you gotta breathe long and deep or you'll bust. Yeah. How much longer it's gonna take, Gramps? Oh, what's the rate we're going on now? up and go back where you come from, mister. The next time we won't pull it down, we'll burn it down. Got the feeling that maybe that old man thinks we didn't mean it, what we told him last night? From the looks of them supplies and his going into Andy's place here, seems to me he aims to make us prove it. 
Now, ain't that kind of foolish, old man? You might still could give a good price. You're wasting your breath. You may bury me on that land, but you'll never drive me from it. All right. That's the way you want it. Uritis came last night. Where's your grandfather? In town. Be back directly. He's all right. Yes, ma'am. A little mad, but he's sure all right. Did you get a good look at those men? Yes, sir. They're the ones your brother's tangled with in the saloon. You're sure? I'm sure. Me and Gramps were standing just over there. Well, I'm glad they didn't hurt you. Just frightened you. You had callers. Well, I'll greet them a little more personal the next time. That's not the answer, Jubal. It's one they'll remember, though. How many of them were there? Nine, ten. And you're going to try and stand them off alone? Well, I ain't going to crawl. What about Chad? Victoria, I was hoping he could stay with you for a few days. I'm staying here. You're going to do as I tell you, boy. I've been a part of it all till now. You heard your grandfather. Well, if there's going to be more trouble, I guess you'll need some help. Help? What in blazes do you want me to do? I can't be out there guarding him every night. Dutton and the others will be back. I talked to Dutton, he denies it. He's lying and you know it. Equal protection under the law, Sheriff. Protect Jubal Tanner in spite of your personal feelings. It's your duty. Don't tell me my duty. I'm telling you to order Dutton and the others to stay out of Oak Meadows or deputize enough men to see that there's no more trouble there. I can't. Can't or won't? Besides the Barclays, you name me one person who'll stand up for that old man. In this whole valley, you name me one. Dad, they destroyed his house last night. Maybe next time they'll kill him. Is that the way you want it handled? Of course not. I'm against violence the same as you. Then let the people know that. But there's going to be violence. As sure as I'm standing here, there's going to be violence unless that old man settles somewhere else. And if he doesn't, I think they're going to kill him. No, I don't think they are. Len, you know they are. We played poker together too many years. I can read you like a book. I've got no more to say, Jared. If anyone dies, you'll have had a hand in it. I have no part in any of it. You can't tie me into a thing. They'd listen to you. You and all the others who turned their back on me, they'll all have had a hand in it. You'll not lay it on my doorstep, Jared. Then whose blame is it when a handful of perennial troublemakers act as spokesmen for the entire valley? Not the entire valley. I couldn't find one who would stand with us. But it's been three days. Maybe they've decided to let Jubal alone after all. No, they figured to strike sooner or later. Sooner or later. In the meantime, there's all kind of land he can have instead. Who said anything about land? Isn't that what this is all about? No, Brother Nick, it isn't. Nicholas, what if this particular piece of land had a very particular meaning to someone close to you? It all depends on what that meaning was. If land weren't the issue, but it were a matter of personal rights, and standing on those rights, no matter how unpopular they may be, is 100% within the law. Well, I'd say uh, one man's personal rights standing alone are just as important as one man's personal rights. Standing with a crowd. Guess it sometimes takes a while, but eventually the Barclays get around to seeing eye to eye with one another. you back at the house where you belong? I've been here every night since you have. You have? Yes, sir. I've been hiding in that tree top yonder. Get down behind that wheel where I can see you. And 
lie flat. Jared Barkley. We didn't figure on you being in on this, Barkley. And it, brothers. So it won't be just trying to scare off one old man. Take your men and go, Dutton. You're breaking the law. We'll go when he goes. Nobody's going to drive me off this land. Jubal. Jubal, get back. Sorry, Jared. I'm really sorry. You're a little late, Sheriff. much better. Just try not to keep tugging at it. I'll try. And tell your uncle to write us that you arrived safely. Yes, ma'am. How about an apple, Chad? Well, everything's in order. Chad, here's your train ticket. And here's a bank draft in your name for all the money your grandfather saved for that land. Thank you, sir. You figure the dam will go in now? Yep, I think so. And you know, Chad, they held a special council meeting in town today. And everyone, the sheriff and even Len Calder, wants you to know how sorry they feel. That's just words. No, more than just words. They want your permission to name it the Jubal Tanner Dam. I don't know. Chad. Chad, you can go on being bitter about what happened. But that's not the way he would have wanted it. I know that for a fact. The Jubal Tanner Dan. You tell him fine. But if it has his name, it better be the best dam in the whole world. <laughs> Boy, you don't talk or act like any kid I ever met. Sure doesn't. Come on, we'll miss your train. Hey, what time Why is this? Why don't you ride the bus with me? Would you like to drive this evening? Hey! My stuff! Oh. 